We shot 65 mil, so we have, there's a lot of detail in the big wide shots. And I hope if you see it on a big screen that you can tell it's, it's visually very rich. Our filming style was basically um, a little bit de dictated by how we shot things. Like when we were in Iceland shooting the Arctic, um, we were in real storms and it was very heavy. We were shooting on a glacier and it was very hard to access. So our filming there was pretty pragmatic. And then, you know, um, almost, you know, we would go to um, almost documentary style. We watched a lot of space footage, how people move in space, how those spaceships were. And um, and then um, watched other films, of course. And uh, George, having done Gravity, knew a lot of um, what he wanted and what he didn't want, and and how he knew um, um, how we also wanted to keep things organic, because you know it's. It's very key thing for uh, for him to always be able to talk to the actors and figure out scenes rather than being tied into uh, the technical side of it. When we shot the Arctic station, when we shot um, all the Babo interiors, um, we basically um, have a look out of the window. In classic filmmaking, that would have been done with green screen, but we use the really enormous uh, LED screen. And we had sent in September, six weeks or eight weeks before we started shooting, we had sent a camera team out to Iceland and we shot um, uh, an array plate with a background plate, um, which then was processed by ILM. And that was projected onto the LED screens. One of the biggest things was, you know, for our spacewalk sequence um, to pre this in 3D with 3D models. You know, it's it's interesting because some of the action sequences we um, we had a 3D model of the spaceship build. We had animated characters, and then something I hadn't done before is. You could do it with glass, with VR glasses, or with an iPad, and you can walk around, and you can be the camera, and you can move in that animation. You can move and figure out where you want the camera and how you want it to move. Josh likes to get down to the story and and work with the actors, and and we um, I try to give him the atmosphere and the set, so we don't, you know, don't think too much about the technical side of things. And there was a lot of technical stuff on this where we had to do a bit more than we did on Catch or the American. But usually we try to keep things simple and then move fast and, and, uh, and have fun while you do it.